demonstrate how I sew together hourglass blocks. There are a few ways to do this. This one is my favorite. So you start with two squares. These are five and a half inches each. And you mark the back side of one of the squares. I usually use this handy tool called a hair marker. It just makes a crease. Um, and I always do it on a self-healing mat. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a water-soluble pen just so you can see it a little bit better. So you mark the back side of one of one of the blocks, and then you line it up because you're making half square triangles first. So you line it up and you will sew a quarter inch on either side of the line. Also, check out my beautiful nails. We dyed Easter eggs before I made the video and the dye doesn't come off. So you can have to use your imagination that these are both quarter inch lines. I did not realize that I did not have on the quarter inch foot. Um, and then you will just cut right on that sew on the drawn line. Don't cut on the sewn line, drop cut on the drawn line. And then I am going to go and press these. I'm going to press these towards the aqua fabric. Um, you can also press them open. Mm -hmm. Two sewn half square triangle units that have not been trimmed. And I'm going to take one of them and turn it over so that the seam set is up. And I am going to draw a line like this. So now I have a line drawn in the opposite direction of my um, sewn line. And what you're going to do is you're going to match up these two seam lines. And you can see you pair opposite fabrics. So I've got my white and my aqua. If you do it aqua and aqua when you sew, you are not gonna get the effect that you're looking for. So make sure that you set this up right. And when you do, um, I, pin and I will usually pin kind of right in the middle this is a little bit hard to show on video but you can actually feel where both of the seams are and so you can see because I um, because I ironed them both towards the aqua the seam should nest and so I will kind of check and help with my fingers until they do nest and then I will pin it. Obviously that's not a great pin because it's not equal, but you get the idea. So I sat down and was able to do a better job, but I usually start in the middle and I pin and then I fold it back to make sure and that looks pretty good to me. So then I will um, do the same thing with the other side. After you do, after you pin, so I'm gonna put another pin right here and I'll probably put one over here, and then you sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. After you have sewn both of your quarter inch seam lines or fake quarter inch seam lines because you don't know where your quarter inch foot is, um, then you just cut along the drawn line. Then you open it up and you have two beautiful hourglass blocks and that is all you need for this so I am going to go press this and then I'll come back and trim them so if you have a four and a half inch ruler that is probably the easiest if you don't you can make kind of any other square ruler that's bigger work um, I marked just so you could see the two and a quarter center point you want that over your center you want to make sure that when you're trimming this you don't just kind of trim like this. Yes, this is gonna get you a four and a half inch block, but it will also cut off all of your points. So that is my center. So I'm going to um, align it as best as I can. And then I'm gonna look and see, um, are the four and a half inch marks also on the edge on the diagonal? You know, so you can kind of play with it a little bit. Um, I marked this off just so you could, it would be easier to see on the camera. I wouldn't normally do that because I think it makes it harder to trim. Anyways, so I'm going to trim here. Very carefully switch. Let's 
see that it kind of moves. Part of the reason it moves like that is because I have a little bit of a thicker seam under there. Okay, so I set up the ruler again and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold it kind of carefully because as you can see, it really easily turns. Do one more cut. And this one is pretty close. It's not perfect, but you just do the same thing with your other square and then you have the two hourglass blocks for your block. 